that he and party of the folk uh, then to deal with some matters um, in the northern part and subsequently while coming home. Um, Mr. Maynard just wanted to come out of the car to um, do whatever was necessary. And he um, just suddenly collapsed. Um, I was immediately called and I had directed Mr. Folk with a check for and whatever else. But um, we were unsuccessful. I called the emergency medical personnel who responded as quickly as possible. They themselves did what was necessary and um, they too were unsuccessful. And um, immediately informed Mr. Maynard's family as to what had taken place. And I think the, we in the free national movement and the whole Bahamas is saddened by the loss of Charles Maynard. He was a rising star, very um, innovative, futuristic individual. I think he had um, a great role to play, um, moving even further within the party. Um, he was very, very focused on young people and youth. He was focused in ensuring that they have a role to play in the party and in the country. And he was focused on trying to institute programs to invite the young people into our organization and um, to ensure that they play uh, and um, they become a part of whatever wealth the Bahamas has to offer. I think um, his pride he would have been successful in many things um, as a government minister, but um, the sports stadium would have had a great impact on him because he felt that um, that would have been a stadium to help galvanize young people and play an important role in, in sports medicine and um, helping to get further scholarships for individuals. So I think um, the loss of him is a great loss to the country and the free national movement, and we would um, ensure that we continue to focus on young people, ensuring that young people is um, elevated within the free national movement and within the Bahamas. Uh, they play an important role in the growth, development, and future development of the Bahamas. And um, he was very focused in the free national movement, winning the by-election and the 2017 by-election, and we would work even more hard and aggressively to ensure both um, those objectives are obtained. I will to keep, to ensure that there's um, one unity within the party and the party would remain focused and move forward for victory. That was Charles Bishop, that was Charles Trent, that the party stay together as one family, as our slogan say, all together, and we would remain all together and move forward. Minister. No, Mr. Minard's family had just arrived. Um, they would view the body first. Mr. Minard's body would be thrown out sometime um, today. Um, he has been notified. I'm sure he's not taking the news um, well. Um, he had um, lots of admiration and great hope for Charles Minard, just like the rest of us. So I'm sure he would, like myself, be most saddened by the sudden death of uh, such a young person a person who has so much to offer um, to this country. And Dr. Minnis, finally, um, where does this leave the campaign in the immediate future? Well, Charles was our campaign coordinator. Um, many of us were assisting him. Um, Charles would want us to continue. He would want us to not only win the Africa by election, but win it with um, a decisive margin. And um, we would do all we can to ensure that that, that happened. And um, we would continue. Um, we would respect his wishes, we would respect his death at this particular time, and we would do whatever is necessary, when necessary, to ensure that this um, victory is brought home. FNM leader Dr. Hubert Minnis, who is in North Abaco this morning, um, of co uh, uh, there with the family of Charles Maynard, who has just arrived on the island. Um, we will continue, of course, to uh, follow this story for you. Again, uh, FNM Chairman Charles Maynard passing away early this morning. Um, of course, medical officials will make an official determination as of the cause of death. But, Dr. Menace, thank you so much for joining us on the morning report. Team Bahamas and